first introduced like the idea of the whole story background and I thought it was actually a really good idea because it this kind of message does need to be spread because a lot of people don't really recognize the burn survivors and how they feel when they're out in the real world and playing the role for this short film was actually kind of difficult because there were some parts where when I had to be neglected from the group I actually felt like being neglected and I actually felt like sad for a moment and I was like no this sucks and I actually got to feel the pain psychologically that what the um, burn survivors go through but it's far more worse you know because I know from my stance it's just acting but that's how they feel probably most of the time when they just go out to do something so simple you know and they want to like have friends and stuff and I have like so many friends I'm grateful to have them but other people do need to know that they're human beings as well and they should look through the inner self from their heart not just how their appearance is it was okay the part where I had to like get the um, the burn scar the makeup part when she added like the wax and like added the makeup to it it felt weird and like heavy so like it didn't yeah like not like it was dragging my head down but it was like it felt foreign so it was like super different and like the touch of it was not sticky but it kind of felt like oil so if like you touched it it would like stay on your fingers unless you really washed your hands and I had to do the same thing with my face and it was kind of a hassle but seeing myself with the scar I thought it was kind of cool because I was like oh I've never like seen myself in a different way other than just what I look like now you know and but when I played the role and I had the scar on where the mirror scene I almost cried Oh, really? Yeah. So I had actually won Miss Teen Asia, the first runner-up, in 2016. But uh, in the scene, I had to re-experience that, and it wasn't as exciting as I thought it would be. But everyone was hyping me up in the background. I was like, Oh my gosh, yes, that was so fun! And like, I actually, but I did get to actually feel that I won something, like first place. So it was very. Not emotional, but like very uplifting. So it was a very good experience overall for me. The dog part, oh my gosh, my favorite. Okay. <laughs> so it was B Boy and it was Hiker, and I forgot the girl name, the other girl, but they were so cute. I love big dogs, but I love small dogs too. I have a small dog of my own. And it was just a lot of fun playing with dogs because I was like, oh, I didn't know we get to have a scene where we get to interact with dogs. But then I understood why we did it was because that in the dog's eyes, beauty or ugliness, that pe yeah, it's the same thing. They don't care. You know, they love you for who you are. And I was like, that was good. Good thinking. Yeah. When we were talking about the script and everything, uh, the director had suggested to wear a helmet. And I was like, oh, I was a little hesitant. I was like, a helmet for what? And they explained, and I was like, that makes sense. Because when you put on the helmet, you don't really see the face of a burn survivor. And people act like they're normal and everything. But when they do see the face, they're like, oh, I, I don't want to interact with that kind of person. So I was like, OK, so we're trying to send the message with more of like a metaphor, kind of. Like something to surprise the audience. Like, oh, well, like how come they're avoiding her? Or when she has the helmet on, why? Why are they like best friends all of a sudden again, you know? So I thought that was a good idea. So we went with it. But wearing the helmet was actually hot. <laughs> barely, I could barely breathe. I was sweating the whole time. And then like when I got to take, when I had the chance to take it off, I was like, oh, air, air, like thank you. <laughs> to hit water break and everything. So it was, it was fun because I love the part where I got to use the makeup and like put a smiley face and my friends like had to put like more makeup on it and I was like that's pretty cool like it's a funny scene so that was awesome I liked well we had to like drive all the way up to a mountain and basically they told me to keep the helmet on and just to show that I'm alone and that I have my own kind of comfort zone but I'm still wearing the helmet and I'm looking out into the city, and it's a nice view in the daytime and nighttime. And I had the chance to take it off because I was alone and I had my own like safe, sacred area, like my own place, just to take in everything. 
you know, the world, but from my view, not when someone's looking at me. That was really, it was a cool experience. And it was nice and cool up there on a hot day. All right, Jay. Alright. <laughs> Do you want us to actually speak or like stand for not? Yes. Good boy. Oh, you're a good boy. Oh, shit.